Welcome back grade 5, this is Mr. Abdullah speaking and uh, today we're going to take a new lesson in the vocabulary of the story The Day the Roulettes Got Their Moxie Back This is in Unit 5, you will find it if you open your book um, uh, Wonders book, uh, in page, on page 322 and 323 So today we are going to discuss uh, some new vocabulary for us uh, let's start with the first word we have here is the word assume as you can see in front of you here you will find the definition in the dictionary in front of you in the dictionary supposed to be the case when I think that something is the way uh, it is or to believe that something is this way but I don't have a proof uh, to say that it's the same way so First, I have many synonyms for this word, like suppose, to conclude, guess, or think, okay? So, for example, I assumed you, you knew each other because you went to the same school. When you find two people together, they told you that they are from the same school, so you thought that they knew each other. Uh, number two, I assumed things had gone well for him as he had a big grin on his face. Here I was uh, talking about someone who f uh, looked very happy, he had a big smile on his face, so I assumed, it means I thought or I guessed, that this person, everything is going well for him because he was smiling. Okay, if you look here at the next picture here, I have a photo in front of me right now, Two people are fighting here, or two people are pointing at each other. Now, if I ask you, uh, what can you assume about this picture? You may tell me, I assume that they are uh, in a fight together. I assume that they don't like each other. I assume they are having a fight about something. So, this is what you guess or you think about the picture. Or, when I say, what do you assume about this? If you look at the picture carefully, this photo in front of you, you'll see that the street is wet. So, you can assume that it rained, okay? That it was raining, okay? So, this is the meaning of the word assume. So, again, assume, it means to suppose to be the case without proof. The synonyms are suppose, conclude, guess or think we gave two examples i assumed you knew each other because you went to the same school or i assume things had gone well for him as he had a big grin on his face uh, the next word we have is guarantee guarantee here is a verb guarantee is a verb here the definition is a promise with certainty to promise with certainty this is guarantee when I tell I guarantee that everything is going to be okay with you it means I'm promising or swearing or assuring you that everything will be okay like the two examples here I say a credit card guarantees your reservation at the hotel okay here it assure your booking or your reservation at the hotel uh, he guaranteed me that everything will go according to our plan it means he assured me that everything will be okay say so go on don't worry everything will be okay so here I'm guaranteeing things for another person okay if you look here at the next photo okay uh, like when, when I say can you guarantee that we will win the match I say man I cross across my heart everything will be okay don't worry okay so this is uh, the word guarantee guarantee okay the next word we have is nominate okay nominate nominate which means to propose or formally enter as a candidate for uh, election or for an honor of uh, or uh, an award okay so let's say we have uh, elections at school, uh, we're going to choose someone as the captain. So I ask you to nominate a person. So you all choose one person and say we nominate our friend to be the captain. 
So here it means to recommend, like the synonyms in front of you here. Uh, nominate uh, means uh, recommend or suggest or name. Some examples are given in front of you here. We have the film was nominated for several Oscars. Okay, the film was nominated for several Oscars. Number two, Tom has been nominated by the class as their candidate in the next election. Okay, so this is to nominate. Like uh, you'll see now in the next photo here, we have two photos in front of us. The first one here, a girl is wearing a scarf like candidate, and this is like the primary election. They're going to choose someone to be their captain. Or when I nominate someone for a prize or an award or something, I give him a prize. So this is to nominate him, to name him to be the winner or to be the person who's going to have the award. The next word we have is obviously, obviously, which means uh, to be in a way that is easily perceived. It means understood that something is clearly understood. Okay, so synonyms for the word obviously when I say clearly or of course or needless to say. Needless to say means I don't need to say it. It's clear to everyone. Okay, so she was obviously unwell. When I see someone like his face is pale or yellow and he hardly breathes, I say obviously she is, she was uh, unwell. It means she was clearly sick. Obviously, the school cannot function without teachers. This is something that we clearly understand. Okay, without teachers, we don't have someone to explain the lessons for us, make things easier for us to understand, like this. Okay, so obviously, he said it means in a way that is easily perceived or perceived or understood. Uh, look again at this photo. Here, yeah, <laughs> these are two uh, memes, you'll find it uh, uh, everywhere, uh, on Facebook or even when you open social media, okay? When I say obviously like this, okay? Obviously aliens were behind this like this, okay? So obviously, it means clearly, uh, I didn't need someone to tell me about it, it's obvious, man, you can see it. So obviously is an adverb which means clearly. The next word we have is rely, okay? Rely. Again, rely. Rely, it means to depend on with full trust or confidence. When I say I rely on someone, it means I depend on him, like in the synonyms here. I depend on him, I can count on him, or I can trust him, okay? Let's talk about the two examples we have here. The success of this project, it means to make this project successful. Relies, it means depends on. Everyone making an effort. It, mean, it means, like when I asked you last time to do a presentation and I divided you into teams. In order for the team to succeed, everyone must rely on each other. To make an effort in order to uh, make a or do a great presentation. Okay? When I say I rely on you for good advice, it means I trust you to give me good advice. Or I'm counting on you to advise me whenever I need your help. Okay? So rely on, if you look here at the photo, you'll see like two friends are relying on each other. Uh, whenever they need help, they help each other. Or like a small boy relying on his mother to satisfy his need to do whatever he wants. So most of the time we rely on our mothers to do many things. In, uh, like uh, when we rely on our mothers to make our beds, to make us breakfast, make us the food we need, prepare everything for us. So we rely on them. It means we depend on them uh, like all the time. <laughs> The next word we have here is supportive. Supportive, okay. Supportive as an adjective, which is a word that I use to describe people who provide encouragement or emotional help. 
whenever I'm upset or when I need someone to encourage me to do b uh, better, uh, to succeed in something. So we call these people supportive, okay? Like people who are encouraging, like in the synonym here, helpful or reassuring. For example, the staff are extremely supportive of each other. It means that they encourage each other and they help each other to succeed. Uh, we have children with supportive parents often do better at school than those without. It means children uh, who, uh, who have supportive parents, it means their father and their mother support them, they encourage them or they help him or they help them to do better at school, the, uh, they are successful more than the one they, uh, that they don't have any supportive person in his life, okay? We all need supportive people. You should surround yourself with supportive people in your life. They will encourage you to move forward, to be successful, to do things. Like, uh, we can apply this, uh, this word on football, like when I say, our fans were very supportive today and they encourage us to win the game. Okay, like here, you can look at two photos in front of you here. The first one here is of a group of friends who are supportive of each other. They are standing together, they got their each other's back, so these are supportive, like a team. Okay, or the fans at football here. Where, uh, where they can encourage uh, their, uh, their team and support them during the match, okay? So this is the word supportive. The next one, sympathy. The word sympathy, it means feelings of pity and sorrow. It means feeling sorry for someone else's uh, misfortune or for someone else's uh, uh, bad luck, someone's... Uh, having like uh, a death in the family or a death uh, or let's say an accident so you feel sympathy for him you feel sorry for him which means pity sorrow or caring you care for him so that's why you're feeling sympathy here in the first example uh, the president has sent a, a, a message of sympathy to the relatives of the dead soldiers Again, the president has sent a message of sympathy to the relatives of the dead soldiers. It means here, he sent them like a small speech telling them how sorry he is for the news of the death of the soldiers, okay? He told the relatives, their families, that he's sorry that many people died, okay? Or the soldiers here who defend their countries. Okay. The next one, I don't have much sympathy for her. I think she's brought, she's brought, I mean she has brought her troubles on herself. It means I don't feel sorry for her, okay, because she caused her troubles. So this is on her, so I don't feel sorry for her. So sympathy, here if you look at these photos, if someone is crying or someone is down, you go to support him, to uh, stand by his side, so you feel sorry for him, okay? So this is the meaning of sympathy. Uh, the next word is weakling. Weakling here as a noun, which means a person or an animal that is physically weak. Okay, a, a person or an animal that is physically weak. Look here, <laughs> these are uh, two photos that describe a weakling, okay, someone who is physically weak. Or if you have watched uh, the movie of Captain America, before they turn him into that super, uh, the super uh, soldier, uh, he was a weakling, it means he had a weak body, okay? Look again, so weakling, it means a person or an animal that is physically weak, okay? The synonyms are whim, scary cat, or mommy's boy. Uh, well, we have here two examples, like the army is no place for weaklings, okay? The army is no pl a place for weaklings. Of course, this is true, because in the army you're going to be a soldier, you're going to fight your enemy, uh, defend your country, so you need to be strong, okay? So how is a weakling 
is going to be strong he needs exercise so exercise can turn a weakling into a big tough guy okay or in the case of Captain America it was a chemical experience uh, experiment which turned him into uh, Captain America okay so weakling it means someone who is physically weak his body is weak look here these two photos tells us about it okay uh, thank you for watching this video uh, later on I'm gonna uh, upload some uh, a file with more exercises uh, with exercises about the vocabulary that I have explained on the website. Thank you.